I'm the Peanut Butter Ninja, you're the Jam Squad, Microsoft confirms Activision Blizzard will release games on PlayStation beyond existing agreements. Alright, so this is what you want to pay attention to. And we have committed to Sony that we will also make them available on PlayStation beyond the existing agreement and into the future so that Sony fans can continue to enjoy the games they love. What does it mean? It means big games like Call of Duty, the next Elder Scrolls, Starfield, uh, Overwatch, those games coming to PlayStation. It, well, especially Call of Duty and Elder Scrolls and Overwatch. Starfield, who knows if that will be a hit or not. We'll find out, but we'll see. So, big games. Games that can make some money. The two reasons why this is happening, one, money. Who wants to pass up on billions of dollars? That would be insane. So money is a major motive factor. But even a bigger one is reason number two. Phil Spitzer, when he goes to bed at night, he dreams of Game Pass featuring Nintendo and PlayStation exclusive games. That's what he dreams about. If Phil Spencer had it his way, Nintendo and PlayStation would stop making consoles and instead have their studios make games for Game Pass. That would be his ultimate dream. And could you imagine a Game Pass with the addition of Nintendo and PlayStation exclusive games? That would be insane. That would be the greatest pass in past history. Will that ever happen? I say there's a 10% chance of that happening. Most likely what I do see happening is Game Pass being on PlayStation and Nintendo. But the people of Japan... They are a different culture. They have a different way of thinking, different way of believing. And so, it, you know, you would think it would make sense. Why not have Game Pass on PlayStation, on Nintendo? Why not? But I'm not Japanese, so I think differently. I believe differently. I was raised differently. To me... I would call up Microsoft and say, yeah, Game Pass on PlayStation. Let's do it. That's more money for you. Let's do it. But, like I said, the people in Japan, they're different. So, I don't think that's going to happen. But more, like, more than likely, I think the day will happen where you will see Game Pass on PlayStation and Nintendo. I think one day that will happen. But it always could happen where somehow, some way, um, Nintendo and PlayStation exclusive games come to Game Pass. You never because you can't you can't never say never. All right, so there's your news. So if you're on PlayStation and you were concerned about will you be able to play Call of Duty in the future, you will. If you're concerned about will you be able to play Overwatch, will you be able to play Elder Scrolls and stuff like that, you will. Now, there will be some games that don't come, but it won't be the big games, the giant games. So, any big time game that actually makes some money, those games will be coming to PlayStation and maybe Nintendo. If it's a game that really doesn't generate a lot of money, even though it could be a good game, but if it doesn't generate a lot of money, then they're just not going to do it, most likely. So, anyway, there you go. That's what's happening. Um, that's good news. It's good news. I do want to see one day the Game Pass on PlayStation and Nintendo. Because I don't, once again, think it's going to ever happen the other way. So, there it is. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Jamming out.